Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this rabbit castle. I made this for my cousin and at first I thought she was out of her mind. But then I found out there's this huge rabbit community and people build houses for them all the time. Um, so we decided to go with the castle. I made this whole thing out of maple plywood because I read that bunnies like to chew on wood and maple is harmless to them. And cause I don't really know what to expect. He could possibly chew this whole thing up in like a month as far as I know. So I went with maple to play it safe. So here I'm just cutting the plywood into all the right shapes that I need using this circular saw. Also for a side note, these rabbit castles go for about three or 400 bucks on Etsy. So if you ever thought about getting into the rabbit castle business, I mean, your time is right now, go for it. After getting all the right size boards, I just gave all of them a quick sand. It doesn't have to be perfect because I went back and sanded everything at the end anyway. Okay, so this is where I struggled a little bit. I cut all of the holes out with a jigsaw and it took me a couple of times to figure it out. I would recommend just going super slow and doing it on a solid table if you have one. And if you don't, you can just do it on the ground. And I never got any good footage of me doing this. So just know I cut everything, including the top part of the castle out with the jigsaw. Now that I had everything cut out, it was time to put it all together. So I just nailed these extra trim pieces that I had left over into the inside of the castle to hold up the second story. And the glue that I use is actually just some regular white Elmer's glue that is safe for kids because I'm an expert on this stuff now and I read that it'd be harmless to the rabbits. But I just used this particular bottle because it was the only one I had left. Then it was time to connect all the boards together so I just used the glue and a brad finish nailer. I was a little worried that this was going to be sturdy enough, but I just used a bunch of nails about every inch and it came out pretty solid. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you want to learn more about rabbits, I'm going to link two different YouTube channels in the description below. One of them is called 101 Rabbits with a girl named Haley. And the other person is a girl named Kat, and they basically know everything. Then it was time to make the ramp, and I cut the board the same width as the entrance. I forgot to record it, but I later screwed in both of the ramps, and then sanded the whole thing until it was smooth, and then it was ready to go. All in all, this is probably the hardest thing I've built so far, but at the end, I think it came out pretty good. If you have any questions about this project, feel free to ask, and if not, I'll see you guys next week.